think you caught me. Got some pictures to show you. Don't move. I got more coming. Well, you know what you got to do. You, you don't, don't move. Don't. Watch. Doo, 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 doo. You caught me stocking up. Management just left. Pardon me. She's got to get a haircut. Don't get more than one cut. Get her money's worth. So I went to Rouse's. I got some wax paper. Cut right wax paper. I got this. I got to tell you more about this. This is Reynolds Wrap non-stick heavy-duty aluminum foil. Um, is non, the the non-stick thing is the beauty. And it's the dull side up and it doesn't stick to the dull side. Okay, we're not going to get into roasting turkeys or anything. Oh, and that, you know what that is. That is secret CA juice application paper. Toilet paper. All right. But I'm getting some things from the shop and getting things set up and cleaned up. Look, 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 look. Look how pretty she is. This is it. I mean, this is my baby. Got her all cleaned up. Did the rosette on the top of the knob and put a new put a new belt on it. Uh, opened it up. Took all the crap and stuff. I mean, hey, it looks good. And it's more than 20 years old, but it's a one way. You know, keep on rocking. Oh, we. But I was having some heartbreak about it not being pretty. So the other day, Ronnie, my buddy Ronnie, came by and he says, why don't you throw a coat of paint on the old girl? You know what? I took a week and I sanded it as much as I could. And then I cleaned it all up with mineral spirits. It's a secret cleaner. Mineral spirits cleaned it all up. Then I went through and sprayed it with a Krylon Color Master Cover Match Paint. Ivory Cum Color Gloss Finish. Guess what? If you buy three cans of that, you get three different colors. You can mix them all day long. There's going to be some shade differences. So, it had some blotchiness. So we went through on the last can and shh, sprayed everything out, cleaned the bed. I mean, things slide, move like they're supposed to. Uh, all the stuff. I even have it. I, I, I'm dragging. After I show you some photographs, and these are your photographs. This is pictures of the best wood turning work I've ever seen in my life, and it's yours. That's right, people send them to me. I'll tell you how to do it in a minute. But they send me these photographs, and I need to share them, right? Time is up. Get to the pictures. Yes. Get to the pictures. Yes. I love this belt. We're looking at a gavel done by David Topley. Really nice. It's a presentation piece. Uh, a lot of work went into this. It really looks good. Then Ron Hill sent this to me. He calls it an oyster shell. It does look like an oyster shell. It really is. Great color, great con context. Um, and then we go to Selby. Selby sent me some finger tops that he did. Now, these are skill builders. They look nifty, and every kid loves them, but they're skill builders. Larry Horowitz went to the shop. He's got a whole bunch of pieces here. He's got a couple of bowls, a nice little uh, pear-shaped vase in the center. Um, if the light was better, we could all appreciate it a bit more. And here's another one from, from Horowitz, but it's not in a format that I can work with. Remember the format. It has to be a photograph. I should really shouldn't have used this. But Ed Carnox made this tool, and nice picture of it. It looks like it's got a smashed diamond on it. Um, great for detail work as long as you understand they're only made for detail work. And then John Riggs did this platter with this nice embellishment around the outside. Great color mix. Really cool looking. David Duran has been bombarding me with work this week. And look at this. Great cracks. Great accent. Colors work out. Uh, David, I think you got it going, bud. You got it going. George Bell is trying to get next to some lady because he did these banglets. And they really look good. Good mix of epoxy and wood together. And uh, George Nice. Mike Pacello did this. It looks to be uh, one of those quarter-inch ink pen uh, pencil kits. A uh, great shop tool. And then he did some shop tools. Made a set for him and a set for his friend. Uh, Mike, I've been checking my mail daily. I hadn't gotten my set yet. Uh, okay. 
then David Edwards did this. Nice pens, great splash of color. All the accents really jumped together. I like that. Harry Miller did this, and this is a nice fuzz, nice little finial on it, good color on a, on the pieces, and a great finish. I like that. Rick Katzman did a nice little segment of bowl. Now, people think this is not hard to do. This is hard to do. When you start slicing into this, all your hopes could just go away, but it looks good, David. James Brandt did this. It's a nice vase, good color. Uh, let's change the light up next time but because we really want to see what's coming on. Tom Benton did this nice tool. I like the simplicity of the handle. None of those double steps and triple steps. And it is a workable tool that he's going to have for a long time. Steve Tibbetts did this piece. Really good finial work. And I like how the finial and that second layer kind of match out. Nice detail and great finish on it. Ann Ackley sent this to me. Ann's also sent me some polishing uh, products, but I hadn't gotten to work them up to talk about them yet. But Ann, that's a fancy looking piece. Alan Coulson did this. Now, Alan, I can tell you, I like it. My wife wouldn't let me have it a house because it is really artsy. Great blend of woods. Ernest White's bombarded me. I mean, we went to Ernest's place here, and he's got a series of clocks that he did, and they all look really good. And then Ernest had to show us that he did a nice standing lamp. That's harder than you think because it's got to be straight when you get done with it. All kinds of ways. And then he went over and showed us a little weed pot and a platter that he did. So I'm glad Ernest doesn't have a five-bedroom house because we'd be here all day looking at Ernest and stuff. And I got to jump right on over to Norm Benjamin. Norm did this thing. It's a little candle holder, and I like it. Well, you put alcohol in it, and I like it. It's nice. Hey, you like those photographs? Those came from you. You would see, you take this little thing here, this little gizmo, and you take a photograph of your work, pose it, put it on a piece of, put it where you can see the item and not the background. The key thing in taking the pictures is what's not there. Uh, but take a picture and send it to my email address. Now, if you waste your time sending it to my telephone or my messenger or my Facebook or Zip It or one of those other things, catch the part where I said wasted your time because if you don't send it to this email address right here, I can't use it on a video. Why? Because I'm old and grumpy. Bottom line, I can't make the transition and have it look alright. I can't shrink it down and make it bigger. Can't do any of that. So you send it to this email address right here and I'll gladly use your photograph. Make sure you put your name on it because Bunkin' Buddy, is that Bunkin' Buddy? Bunkin' Buddy, Bunkin' Buddy. You have a couple I can't use because you won't tell me your name. And I think one of them is a copy. So, you got to put your real name on these things. Somewhere, you know, it's an email. Hey, put your name in. But your return address is not always your name. So, put your name on it. That's what we're doing right now. I'm out on the bench outside the shop today. It's low lovely. We get in spring again. I mean, we had it for a week. It went away. Coming back. And it's going to get really nice. A guy came by the other day and gave me a chuck. He's been a returner for years and years and years. And we talked on the phone a couple of times. And he, he called me the other day. He said, i got something to bring you. And he brought me a chuck. He brought me a Talon chuck. It's made by one. Well, here's a picture of it. Now, isn't this a lovely thing? Look at this. Well, to take that, and I played with it a little bit, I put a little heat on it and tried to do it. It still couldn't break down. So I drilled those screws out and then took the jaws off. And, hey, beauty part about it, when you buy one-way jaws, they normally come with replacement screws. You don't have to buy those. This, hey, But I've got a box of screws here. So I can take these out, throw them away, and I can save the jaws. i got to take a wire brush to them and clean them up. And I'm going to clean all the little lands and all the little services and all that. And get it really clean. And I'm not going to spray with that WD stuff. Nope. Because I don't want it to clog up. He said this thing was underwater for a period of time. I can believe it. But instead of a six-pound anchor, it's a six-pound screw-type chuck. And it's beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. I'll polish it all up and get it for you. I'll show you when I get it finished. 
it's a sweet addition to a small lathe and I don't know a lot about the talon I'll look it up and see if I can put an inch and a quarter I have an inch and a quarter adapter right there if I put that in it I got a friend who's got an inch and a quarter he'd like to have another chuck and since it was given to me I'm not out anything just a little play with labor and pass it on that's what this is all about you know it you're a wood turner you're not normal what can I say but this is all about the other guys it really is if you can do something to help somebody out do it if you can make something and you can make two do it you can always find somebody to give it to and they will always appreciate it because guess what they'll do the same thing for you I'm Captain Eddie Castellan I'm in a shop with a nice pretty I'm going to get some decals done big guy making shavings and fire we all drew cars when we were in high school we had fire flames and all that get my daughter to do it she's pretty good at that uh, put decals on it and dress it all up because then I can get back to making shavings making shavings come on girl you still got it in you well then get going get rolling come on on off switch again forgot to turn it on